YouTube. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Uh, one of two people, right? Gonna give you an update on what we got going on. Just found out that they got a competition coming here, right? I live in Jacksonville for those, those who don't know, who's uh, uh, new to the channel. But uh, never done a competition other than, you know, me pulling up a grill beside somebody and just going for what we know and letting the community judge it. But I've never did an organized one. So this is, I think it's in St. John's County. So if you're in the area, stop by. It's September 8th and 9th. I believe uh, that's that Friday and Saturday. So it's going to be four categories. We're doing beef brisket, uh, pulled pork. We're doing chicken and ribs. So it's going to be a blast, man. We just sent in our money, uh, waiting on the registration people to come back. Uh, and here's the problem. It, the backyard is not for amateurs. So what they're doing is, if they get at a minimum of 10 amateur groups, then they'll create a separate group from the, uh, I think it's the Florida, whatever, the Florida's version of their cook uh, uh, organization. And never even thought about joining it. Um, you know, like I said, I've been cooking at home and people call me up, cook for them, because I do it for fun, giveaways, charity, uh, giving to the poor. Those are unfortunate, I ain't gonna say poor, those are less fortunate than uh, some of us. That was my motto, but somebody said, you know what, your barbecue is on point. Why not test it out and see how you you, you go against at least the amateurs. So this one came up and uh, we're gonna try it. Uh, my squad, just because I never did before, we are solicited my boy Myron, shout out to him out there. Uh, he gonna come along, we're gonna do this and we're gonna see what happens, man. So uh, I'm gonna be doing cooks, all of us just practicing on all four meats. Um, the beauty of this one is they don't judge on presentation. So that's the beauty of it. So I don't have to worry about putting the garnish in there. The garnish is not allowed. But if we don't get 10 people to register or nine other teams to register as amateurs, I'm going against the pros, y'all. And if you've ever seen like Barbecue Pit Wars and uh, uh, the shows of Myron Bixon and all them cats, uh, Joe, uh, Big Mo, not Joe, Big Mo, now all them cats, man, this is what they do. So it, I'm sure it'll be televised. And uh, we're going to go for what we know. So if there's not 10 teams, I'm going up against cats like them, man. So, yeah, I'm rubbing my head right now. And uh, we got some work to do. So I'm probably going to have my grill going every single day when I get off work. Uh, trying different things, different seasonings. We're going to match up our stuff against each other, see who got the best blend. And uh, for all different four categories, and then we're just going to go, man. We're going to go for what we know. Um, yeah. Even now, I got, uh, uh, you know, I'm on my patio in the back. Um, it's raining, sprinkling. Uh, but it's the wait, the, the rainy season out here. But anyway, I got a slab of ribs on there right now. Uh, no need to show you that. I just want to talk to y'all to tell y'all what we got going on. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, it's September 8th and 9th. If you're in the area, um... Hell, it might even be on TV. That's crazy, man. So, they got three categories. Well, four categories of meat. And you can get first, second, and third place. Just like traditional, uh, like you see on TV. So, for each category, the way it works is each category, you get graded on your, uh, your presentation. They have times that you have to turn in each box. You get a number. And then uh, you're graded on a scale of, I think it's five to ten points. Maybe one to ten points. I have to reread the, uh, the points. And embedded in my memory, along with the times, this is going to be hard. It's one thing to cook and be ready at a certain time, but to cook it and have it come right off the grill, or maybe within five to ten minutes of your turn in because you want the warmest product presented to them, it looks its best. That's hard. So we got some work to do. So I'm going to have Shirley Fab going almost every day. I uh, might even solicit my Smoking Mind Weber for the brisket and Boston butts. Um, but I need smoke rings, so I'm probably gonna go with Shirley Fab all of them. We might have two or three grills out there. My boy Myron got his pool behind, man. We're gonna be trying everything, man, just to get in that top three. Um, that's crazy. I, I never even, I'm blessed. Uh, I never even thought about this, but here we are. So wish me luck. Hey, stay tuned on TV, man. I may be on there, or my team may be on there. Um, we're gonna see, man. So if you got some tips, Hook me up, man. Hook me up on what to expect, what to bring. 
Uh, Cause it's about 30 minutes from where I'm at now, so that means if I forget something, I gotta drive all the way back home. So I got a checklist, but I may miss something. So if you ever done one or been to one, hook me up, man. I need, I need, I need some help. We need some help, man. Uh, it's gonna be exciting. I'm, I'm amped up. I can't express that enough. So thank you guys for uh, uh, watching me. Stay tuned, man. We're gonna have some fun out there. Uh, overnight cook. It's gonna be exciting. Oh, but well back to how it works. Um, long story short, without you know talking 30 minutes, because you, if y'all don't know, I probably could talk all day about anything, um, as they tell me. But no. So like I was back to what I was saying. So for the three, the four different categories of meat, like I said, brisket, pulled pork, chicken, and ribs. Each category, they will present a, a prize, first, second, and third place. You get a trophy or some type of certificate uh, recognizing you for that particular meat. And that's for every single four categories. So there's 12 positions that I can get, right? However, even if I don't place in the top three in those four categories, they got this thing called grand champion, right? Grand champion is what the best of the best walk around bragging about. You know what I mean? What that means is you get, a, like I said, the point scale, you get points for every single meet you turn in. So even if you can come in 16 place in all four categories, and have the top score overall once they add up all your points and divide it by uh, four or I think they just add up all your points and then whoever's at the top is is the king of the king called grand champion so can you imagine if backyard barbecue is a grand champion on their first event first try that'd be crazy but I'm just going out of fun man just to see how well our barbecue stacks against the pros if I'm in that category or even the amateurs, so that'll be interesting. And they got another one they call the People's Choice Award. I don't think there is money involved with that one, but what they do is people pay $10 and they give them 10 tokens. And they come around and they taste all the people's uh, meats, the competitors' meats from the different groups. And if they like your particular product, say the chicken, they taste my chicken and say it's nice, they put a token in there. So at the end, they'll tally up all the, uh, the buckets, you know, with your tokens in there, and then uh, they'll give a People's Choice Award for whoever had the uh, the most tokens in there from from the customers. Um, I think that one will be a little easier for us. Not so much to win, but it'll be a little bit easier for us because that's what we cater to, just people, the regular people. It's a little bit harder for judges because, like, if you don't know, every area, they tend to want to cook uh, or the judges look for a certain type of food. Like, if you're in Florida, they like sweetness. So candy is what they call it so now we got to practice on how to make our our product sweet and that's just for the the judge not even the, the consumer so uh, that's gonna be kind of awkward to try to cook something and make it sweet uh and that remember it's just that one bite when they taste your meat it's just one bite so that one bite got to be on point pull pork if they bite into some fat you already know what kind of point your points you get so hopefully we do well and uh we go from there um i think North Carolinas, they like the vinegary taste with the uh, the mustard um, based flavor. You got Kansas City with the traditional barbecue um, rub. And Texas, you already know about the Texas crunch with brisket, wrapping it up in aluminum foil at some point. So everybody, every different area of those particular regions have different tastes, so. Stay tuned. We're gonna knock this out the box. And oh yeah, to Terry, Smitty, my, my sidekick, I'm better than you, dog. I'm better than you. So, like I said, if you had not seen the previous video, stay tuned, man. He got a channel coming out, and uh, I'm going to help him get his, his YouTube set up. He got a, a, a crazy camera. Uh, he take photos and stuff, so he kind of got the edge on me on the camera, so his will be an HD. But I'm going to the store and get me one. He ain't going to get me just on no video content, no no 4K camera. So I'm getting him. So this is stuff started to turn into a competition between friends. Hopefully they don't turn out well uh he uh unsubscribed for me because I, I cook better than him. But uh anyway, y'all stay tuned man. We're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, we're just gonna do random giveaways now nah, man. I, we were waiting. That's what I want to talk about real quick before I let you go. We're gonna do random giveaways man. We we're at the point now where I'm, I'm over a thousand subscribers. Uh he wants to build his fan base so we're just gonna get random giveaways man. So it's gonna require your involvement um to help us get to that point where we we just gonna pick a random number man we just maybe even do like the bingo balls and pull through 
three numbers or two numbers or whatever and just say whatever whatever person is that subscriber is what wins and we might just pick a random day out of the week and just spin the balls and whatever so we'll come up with some creative way man to keep this interesting because i hate the standard uh the standard way people do things like they say oh when i get to uh 100,000 i'm gonna give something away um so we're just gonna do random stuff man to keep people interested stay in tune to these channels man and we having a blast but anyway um my camera's telling me it's been about 11 minutes of me just yapping um wish me luck stay tuned for these future cooks and then we're gonna go from there y'all all right oh let me show you uh my ribs that i got on actually i got some rib tips too Just put them on. Then my, my sausage, that's me uh, getting my grill bone on the sly. Uh, St. Louis D's, you see the perfect cut in them. And I got some rib tips, which is actually the cut of meat that goes over the top. Actually, it's the other side right here. I cut that, and then the flap of the ribs is in the pan on the bottom. We're testing that out. Maybe we'll provide that product to, uh, to the judges, too, depending on how it looks. So, anyway. It's your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. It's gonna be a long time, man. It, oh, today is August. No, August. It is July 23rd, 23rd, 24th, something like that. So that means between now and September 8th, we got our work cut out for us. So like I said, wish me luck. Uh, I may even just shoot video quick, just so you can see uh, uh, where we at, how our product look when we are uh, competing against each other to get the best product. And we're gonna go for now. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Wishing me luck in this new competition that I'm about to try. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. I'll let your boy.